Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the webinar, what is coming in Ivia Statica uh, 9. In the next 30 minutes, we will talk about the newest release of the connection application version 9. It was released two weeks ago. Just before the start, we have to mention the question panel. You can write down your questions and we will do our best to answer them during the uh, webinar. If we will not answer it, we will send it, we will send the answer by email directly to you. Let me shortly introduce Martin Rolny, senior product engineer, and me. My name is Vidurčík and I'm product engineer in Idea Statica. Today's webinar agenda will be divided into three thematic blocks. Graphical user interface redesign, new skin improvements and changes in the application interface, new BIM workflows, the new way how to deal with the changes in the original model, and miscellaneous other important improvements. I'm going to pass over the presenter to Martin. Sit back and enjoy the webinar. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce you our new user interface, which we developed to, to simplify and speed up uh, the work with Idea Static Connection. At the beginning, let me go through the list of highlights, and I would like to talk, uh, which I would like to talk about today. First of all, we have created a new connection wizard. It speed up uh, design and check of standard types of connections. As you can see, you can select a class, uh, topology, and design from a list of a dozen predefined projects, and just let it create. Next. We have replaced the original navigator by a ribbon uh, with uh, tabs uh, project, design, check, report, and materials. We have also updated a 3D scene rendering technology and moved the summary uh, overview into the 3D window. From my point of view, the game-changing control is a, a tree of entities. As you see, it contains all um, defined members, load effects, and manufacturing operations. And it brings the effective management of the model, enables, enables activation and deactivation of all items, and selection of items to edit uh, in property window. Another very useful control uh, are a right uh, mouse button commands, which enables you to very fast modification of member cross-section, welds and bolts properties and plate thicknesses. You can also use a right mouse button to connect a member to another one by member templates uh, and from the, from the list which we have prepared. Let me also mention that we have moved all settings uh, into file menu to help you uh, manage and uh, the project in one place. And I would like to also pick up a new singularity check which can identify disconnected model entities. As you can see on this example, there is a, a not welded stiffener and during the calculation program show us the problem of this uh, singularity and we can immediately fix it and design our connection. As you see, there is a lot of improvements and I would like to demonstrate you how you can increase your productivity with new Idea Statica 9. So let's jump to the program and, uh, and start with uh, the demonstration. As you see, there is a mentioned wizard as you and I can select a a class of, an, of a connection, uh, topology, and proper design. For my example, 
I will use uh, the default values. So as you see, it's a frame if join and I will use zero code. So let's create a new project. So I'll click to create a new project and uh, and the new project with uh, these uh, settings is automatically created. As you see, I have received a, a model with member or entities like Stefaners, Welts, also the, uh, the load, and I can immediately start uh, the calculation. As you see, a new join is uh, was, let's say, generated, analysis model was generated and it's calculated. And I can uh, jump to check uh, to investigate uh, the results. So I, as you see, there is a the overall check that's helped me to identify them, uh, the, which, which parts are used, which are not used. I can check, for example, strain check, equivalent stresses, uh, with uh, deformed shape, uh, if I need to go to more detailed uh, values, I can just jump, to, for example, to the table of all welds, welds and investigate the, uh, the real check and values which are coming uh, into, into the check of the weld. If I need to change something uh, in my uh, design, I will, can go back immediately to, to design tab. And for example, I will just click in 3D window to the load and I will change the value of the bending moment to 250. So it, it's immediately changed and I will totally redesign uh, this, uh, this connection. To that, I can use the uh, right mouse button. So I'll click uh, to, to right mouse uh, button and use option clean to delete all uh, operations defined on a member. And I will connect now a member B to member C by uh, by a pretty fun temp template. So let's use this uh, end plate with a widener. I will use the default uh, size of the bolt. And as you see, I have now a totally different uh, design. I can recalculate it and check whether it uh, is okay or not for my for my load. Yeah. As you see, I have some troubles with the design of uh, these bolts. Uh, they are in red, and I see that the unity check is uh, over 100%. So I, I can just click again by right mouse button and change the, uh, the bolt assembly to, for example, M20 and bolt grade 10.9. If I recalculate it again, I see that now it's uh, okay and uh, and it satisfies uh, all checks. Uh, now let me also demonstrate how can I use uh, this uh, tree of entities. For that I can for example just click on existing uh, operation. So let's use this stiffener. I will change the view to solid. So let's click the stiffener. Stiffener is highlighted and I will for example delete it. Uh, so it disappear and I would like to modify the definition of the cut of the column. So let's change the cutting, uh, let's say direction from parallel to perpendicular and offset to 80 millimeters to extend the column. And I will add a new operation. Uh, for example, let's use the stiffener and uh, I will apply it uh, at the end of the member and let's keep the default settings just to have this uh, this stiffener at, at the top of the column. Again, I can recalculate it and check the result. As you see, uh, the modeling with Idea Statica 9 is a game, so it's very fast and, uh, and you can really ch change uh, the design to in, uh, in seconds and investigate the results of, of, uh, of, the, of the analysis. Uh, now I will add a new item. So let's use uh, this uh, icon new. And uh, again, the wizard appears and I will select now the class for, the, uh, for this uh, beam to beam connection. And let's use the connection with, uh, with cleats. Yeah, so let's generate this, this one. And uh, 
I have a new item in my project. Uh, I would like to mention that uh, we automatically prepared uh, some load for this uh, for this project. So if I change the the position, the view to transparent, or uh, sorry to wireframe, you can see that we also automatically applied the correct uh, position of the load because as you see this uh, uh, this. Uh, type of connection it's a hinge so the so the member b1 has uh, applied to the forces the position of the forces in bolts and it's in the real position of a hinge so it was automatically set and we can again uh, try to calculate or play with uh, with this uh, model well i would also show you in this example the, the singularity check so for that i will disconnect uh, disconnect uh, this uh, stiffener i will again just deactivate the welds by right mouse button so in fact as you see i'm made a mistake because uh, there's no there's no weld on this stiffener now and it's uh, this, uh, it's not connecting connected to a member b so let's try to calculate it yeah and i see that uh, programs now tells me that there's a there's a singularity so let's see what, uh, what we can uh, how to do that how to investigate it if i go to the check view then i can see that uh, this stiffener is uh, really somewhere outside from the model and it tells me that uh, this is it's a not connected part so let's go back to a design i will just click on on um, on, uh, on this stiffener and activate the welds again and I will calculate it, calculate it again. And now it's OK. And uh, finally, I can go to report view, generate the report. Uh, let's say prepare the output of my design and uh, print it if, if I need and so on. So that was uh, my uh, my demonstration and now I will ask Reed uh, to show us another improvements of the version 9. Thank you very much Martin. Let's continue with the BIMLINKS interoperability. I'm going to show you uh, the connect the new connection manager feature with the import update functionality and the joint highlight feature. The new connection manager is a tool for the managing the exported project uh, data from finite element analysis tools or CAD applications. It allows you to manage efficiently more uh, more efficiently exported joints in one control window. The connection manager will provide you a preview of the joint result, the result summary, uh, design code, and another information about nodes and members. The selected joint is highlighted in the 3D scene of the finite element analysis tool or CAD application also. What is the import update functionality? Let's clarify that. Usually, the engineer starts with the finite element analysis model here. And we can talk about a couple of the applications. Uh, he proceeds with the import of data to IDEA Statica, and then the engineer has to or has to uh, uh, manual input of manufacturing operation. Uh, he needs to design the joint. Then he can proceed to code check or optimization. And if the engineer are not satisfied, uh, usually he needs to redesign the finite element analysis model. So we are back, back at the start. With the new update function, he can redesign the finite element analysis model, click an update, and skip all uh, previously uh, uh, generated steps. 
uh, to perform the code check again without inputting any other manufacturing operations again manually. This improvement saves uh, your precious time. In the case of the CAD applications, the workflow is the same. Usually the engineer starts with the 3D model uh, and we talk about Tecla or Advanced Steel, import the, the data to Idea Statica and perform uh, and uh, input the load effects manually. Uh, then the code check can be done. If the engineer is not satisfied, he usually changes the CAD model and he are back at the beginning, but with the new update function, uh, which allows you to skip uh, all the import uh, which are done before, he can immediately perform the code check or optimization again. This improvement, say, improvement saves a precious time. Let's show the new workflow in a practical demonstration. I prepared for you an example in advanced steel. We have a really nice steel hole. And when I type in con UI, it opens me a new connection manager window. I prepared in advance three, uh, three um, joints. Here I have them, uh, number one, number two, and number three. And uh, let's focus here. The joint and members are highlighted in the 3D scene of the CAD application. It helps me to uh, understand where it is. Uh, to show you how it works, I will delete uh, this first one and we will uh, import it again. Okay, let's start with the import. I will choose the Eurocode and now I will perform the import as we know it from, uh, from before. I choose only the node which will be uh, our uh, joint, then I choose all members. The first chosen member will be the bearing one and in the third step I choose uh, the all remaining entities like plates, bolts, welds, etc. In a while IDA Statica connection window will automatically appear and here we have all manufacturing operations and all members. Just give me a second to fine tune this joint. I will change the position of the load for these two members to bolts and then I will add a new load effect and input the load effects. Uh, don't forget to uh, turn on equilibrium function and we will input a few internal forces. Now only the bending moment and we are done. Now we can perform the analysis. Great, we have results. Everything passed the code check. Now we just save the project, nothing more. Close it. And in a while, we will have another row. And here we have our uh, important joint. OK, let's use the update function. Let's say we have to change something in the 3D model. For example, I can choose this a top girder and I will choose, I will change its cross-section to IPA 160. 
Is it, is it okay for you? I hope yes. Let's go back to Connection Manager and I will choose only the function update. In a while, Aria Statica connection window will automatically appear and all the import stuff was done in the background. Great. We imported our change. You can see here, this top girder is now IPA 160 and we kept our load effects which was inputted to the previous connection. We can immediately perform the code check. Finally, we are satisfied. Let's save it and close it. Uh, and this was the new workflow improvement for the BIM links. Let's proceed back to our presentation and we will talk about another, another improvements. Another improvement which we can talk about is direct, rep, direct export of, rep, of the report to the formats Microsoft Document and Adobe PDF. Also, we improved a stop manufacturing operation. Now we can easily change cross-section of the stop itself. And what's really interesting, we can uh, move uh, the stop in two directions, in Y and Z. For example, to align the top surface of the beam. Also, we implemented a social media share button. You can uh, fine tune uh, the visualization in the 3D scene uh, as you will desire. And uh, by the right mouse button, you will open the context menu uh, with two commands, share on LinkedIn or share on Facebook. Uh, for this function, you uh, you will need your account. Another improvements, we can talk about a massive improvement in anchoring design. Uh, we created a new model for the Sherlock. Sherlock is now uh, meshed as a normal member. Uh, it's a shell and we will uh, connect it or the model will be connected with the weld uh, to the base plate uh, and this weld will be assessed or code checked uh, and also new code checked of the concrete in bearing is available for you. Uh, we, imp uh, we created a really uh, big uh, step forward for the formulas in uh, American code and we changed uh, uh, s uh, um, default values for mesh generation for all hollow section members. Right now uh, we have a little bit time to answer your questions. I answer some of your questions during the Martin's part and I think he is just right now typing in another answer for you. So let's just look at the questions if we will uh, read some of them and we have here question from our user. Uh, what means the command re-input in the connection manager? Okay, uh, I can answer that. Uh, I will take advantage of my previous uh, example. Uh, here we have, as you noticed, uh, another command re-input which, uh, uh, which allows you basically to do the same thing as update, but you can add or remove 
another uh, entity like weld, plate, and uh, bolt, for example. I can re-input this joint and uh, without, for example, these two stiffeners. I think this is uh, enough for this question and we can uh, see another one. Uh, there is another question, how to change the analysis type and the project items in the new UI? Okay, maybe that I can show in my example, so just let me take the presenter. Okay, so I have already mentioned uh, some possibilities about this, so if you need to create a new item, you can use this button copy. If, uh, sorry, new, and if I need to create a copy, I can just click on the on the icon copy. So if I create a copy, uh, click the copy, then you can see that in this uh, list of the project items, uh, I have a new new item called free, and I can change the the type of the analysis directly in the ribbon. So I, for example, change it to stiffness. Yeah. If you need to more uh, investigate or manage uh, these project items, you can go uh, to the project menu, and here you can see that there is the list of all items defined in the in my project. As you can see, again, I can change the to the analysis type. I can add some uh, remark directly to the report, and I can also manage them by the by these buttons: new, copy, and delete. So, so I think that that's the answer to this question. And maybe I can read another one. Martin, it will be for you easy to uh, uh, to show it right away. Uh, it's from our user. It's easy uh, or it's possible to change the order of the project items when generating reports. Mm, you can you can uh, let's say go to the report. What you can do and select. Uh, yeah, I will just. Uh, change it, sorry, or let's create it. And as you see, and now I have used the option cancel, oh, sorry, the current, so there is just one project item. I can also use the option select it. In that case, I can uh, directly in the in the setting of the report, uh, click the which uh, project item should be uh, in my report or not. And I can also move them, yeah, so I can just click uh, them in the, in the in this tree and uh, move them to the required position as I need yeah, and I rearrange them. So that's that's it. Great, Martin. Thank you for the answer. And we uh, we can uh, we can answer for another one. Uh, it's is it possible to edit the preset joints? In the beginning, I think the user meant the new wizard for the new connection. Uh, it's not possible for you, but if you uh, are interested in some uh, certain types, you can send it to our help desk and we will collect uh, the requests for some time and maybe we can add some of them in the new patches in the future. Okay, are there any questions? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we are running out of time, so we, if there are any other questions, we will um, answer them directly by email. And uh, let's finish the presentation so I will take back the presenter and let's continue uh, after the webinar uh, there will be a small survey it will take you only 30 seconds and please fill it in because you can give us a feedback and we can improve webinars Finally, it's for you, so please don't hesitate to um, uh, tell us the feedback. 
recording will be uh, available in the three days at least and we will uh, send you our uh, um, uh, address to YouTube our YouTube channel you can ask for the trial version if you are not the trialist yet uh, at our homepage by filling a short uh, short uh, trial request uh, don't forget we have uh, our resource center uh, which is really useful and the important thing is to say we are proud to show you a new resource center version 9 we redesigned it uh, also for the requirements of the new uh, uh, guided user interface in our new applications Uh, the last thing to mention is that the next webinar will be on 2nd May 2018 and you can see our uh, our friends and colleagues uh, Jana Kaderová and Adam Kožoušek uh, at the Connection Wednesdays webinar 2nd of May. Thank you very much for your attention and have a nice day.